Wow, only two war go two war score. Actually, go here. They need backup. Oh my god, I keep forgetting. Oh dear, oh dear. Just, just, just go somewhere else that's not here. Second of April, I can add another war going. Okay. Okay, I figured they would attack me here. Hey, second of April, come on, give me my diplomat back. Was the other one Alce, I believe? Point eight. I don't think that'll bring us over the infamy, but a little bit. It will not accept. Yeah, we're a little bit over the infamy limit. Oh no, 25 is the infamy limit. Never mind. Lost. Where? Huh? Duneburg. Where the hell is Duneburg? No, no. Duneburg? Here? Oh, here. <laughs> no wonder they died. They spawned right on top of a gigantic stack of dudes. This is a problem. Move back. Oh, come on. Sumatra and Ase, you would accept. Now my other allies that want to add any more goes, come on, Korea, really? You don't want to get even bigger? You don't want to take Russian land? All this because the Russians wanted to acquire Buryat. They are occupying it currently. Well, don't mind if I do. Finally. Okay, demobilize. And oh man, do we need... <laughs> we are in dire need of transports. And 
need for transports is extremely dire. God, this unit is just completely depleted. <laughs> There's 6,000 guys in here. This is bad. Well. At least now I know the weaknesses of the Russians here. They're going to be a bit... They're going to be a bit in a, in a pinch here because they're going to get, I guess, cold... Uh, Great War Capit- Oh, they're gonna drop out of Great Power. This is... This is dire. Yeah, they're gonna suffer a bit because they're gonna be stuck paying reparations. Let's lower our wartime taxation and stuff like that. Maybe drop... Not, not that much. Oof, my god. Oh, these are my African African troops. Here I am done, I'm gonna take you back. Taking you back. Here. Okay. Well, that turned out better than I expected. Way better. My Indochina fleet, who is... That's actually just stationed in Africa. You get out of here. And I have to replenish my main fleet. By building a lot of transports. Ah yes, here comes the joys of uh, balance. Finding out which units need to be balanced because they're all screwed up. I want seven. You probably use another infantry. And you could probably use that cannon. Trying to find out where is the best to put my troops here. Allenstein should be probably be staffed up. spree of building a uh, armor and building a uh... I'm gonna stop that for now I didn't know how long the war was gonna end I thought I might as well queue up about a bunch of uh... a whole bunch 
tanks and artillery. So that's something you always need to attach to your puny little drafted units. Yes, of course I will attend. Yeah, these guys are... <laughs> this is a giant unit. This is a bit, uh... Not optimal. Still use building a few extra cannons here and there, I suppose. Two airplanes, why not? Some extra infantry. Man, we are making bank. And add Lithuania to our sphere. That won't do us much good, but might as well. Oh wow, Osproson is terribly low on craftsmen. Yeah. Not a lot of industry out there, do you? Holstein and Anhalt are also already pretty high. Already mostly industrial areas here. Very high end craftsmen. Mm -hmm. Ah, where do I need to put my uh my national foci? Ah, eh, maybe I'll incentivize some capitalists here. Wouldn't hurt. Hmm. Sure, secret balance. Oh wow, we're getting a lot of people emigrating out. Why would anyone want to do that? The Kurland goes bankrupt. That's just too bad. Here goes my new dreadnoughts. I consider also building some extra battleships, maybe like X another three. It's always nice to have them. I'll queue up some cruisers as well. Why not? Oh, what have a humiliation. CB against the Scandinavians. They have never been the same ever since they got slapped out of uh, out of their Pomeranian and. Uh, Baltic holdings. I am never recovered. Why are the Austrians so mad at us? Oh, right. Negative. 
the relations. That's why they won't they won't ally with us. Figures. Oh, what? Oh wow, the Polish are, are fascists now. Good for them, I guess. Oh well, man, come on, Hungary, you gotta build up your infrastructure. This is ridiculous. Might as well invest in those guys. Also, in my interest to make sure that Illyria is well developed here in case we ever need to go down there. And we're oozing money, so it's not a problem. What's that? Druze? Huh. 1% Armenian. Oh, this is a... <laughs> Interesting. I would not have expected to see Druze here. They're all here, usually. This area. Intradistin. Very interesting. Well, we could create Yugoslavia, but that would give us two infamy, and I, the world would just hate my guts if we were to do that, so let's hold off on that. Covering. I think we have a pretty nice line against the Russians. Who after nearly the entire game now hate our guts. If the army could use some cannons. Uh huh. There we go. All right, we can still expand some of our uh, naval bases. That's right. We're not at a we're not a hundred percent through our expansions. Almost done though. with our forts. Also try to expand some of our African forts. Or our border provinces. Ireland broke their lines with us. Oh no. Okay, we're at our max tech here for this. Search the last industrial tech. We'll have another 13 years left on the game. Maybe we'll finish, maybe we're gonna be finishing this campaign today. Thank you for the money. Uh, Can... Damn, we can recruit a lot of units from uh, Asia now. Okay, you need to be replenished. We could build a, our very own uh, our very own Assanese regiments. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. 
I'm doing like this because I don't want to go in the menu there and just go all over. I want to see from where they're coming from. Two, five, one, three, four, five, and I get try to get one armor. Nice. It's a pretty beefy regiment right there. Expand our, our naval bases here as well. Oh yes. I always keep forgetting that I I hold I hold uh, two ports in China as well. It's great now that Korea envelops this area. That way we're a little bit more. But my God, they're number four. They're the number two military power in the world. Damn. Go Korea. Damn, I have never seen Korea do what do this well, in either an alt history mod or in in, in a mod that's less that's more normal. Let's say. This is very unusual, and I like it. Very bizarre that the crime Crimea is occupied is under the sphere of influence of influence of Burgundy. What's this? The Tarki Shamakalate. Okay. Kind of interesting that the, the Russians didn't gun for that and just uh, decided to sphere it, but I won't I won't argue with that. Too infamy to it. No. Let's let's not assimilate right now to go over the infamy limit for no reason. Oh, we still have commerce raiders in our fleet. Yeah, that'll give you... Oh, oh wow. Oh, right. We still have ironclads in our fleet as well. You're forgetting about that. I try to get sphere, uh, Switzerland in my, infl in my, in my uh, sphere here so that I can stop the Burgundians from just squirreling their way down there. don't have armor. Yeah, I need to put some armor divisions out here in the east. Brigades, rather. Spain bro broke their alliance with Burgundy. Okay. And they still have a lot of troops. The Russians, though, are pathetically small. 50... 57 regiments? We're at 341. This is insanity. I should probably be standing in Walmart instead. Romania goes bankrupt. Good. I'm tired of Romania trying to trying to get in my way. Oh my god, that unemployment. Come 
We're still making literal shit piles of money. This is insanity. Man for the colonies. No, more population growth at home would be ideal. Let's keep our spending somewhat high so that we can have our troop readiness fairly high. Now oh, we fell back to number two again in industry. Burgundy's number one, isn't it? Yep. 30-50. Man, that's a little... Eh. Oh, harsh. Oh, right. We're getting war indemnities. That's why we're getting so much money. It's this another dead general. What's wrong? We'll soon be on our info. Ah, would you look at that? The Scandinavians are a great power again. Uh, <laughs> not, not for long, though. Not for long, by any means. You guys got some planes? You don't have a single plane that is a problem. Gonna work cavalry, good. They're just blasting full speed ahead right now. Let's get oil driven ships. This should be fairly uneventful then. What's this? Alright, that's the battleship that I wanted to. One, two, three. Only four battleships, and most of them are ironclads. Hmm. Our navy's pretty, pretty, pretty thick. Right about now, one the sixteen. Wow, the Burgundian navy. Really, the United Republic is back at having zero, zero ships. <sighs> the AI really is bizarre here. Oh dear, what the hell is this? The assassination of a prominent Albion citizen by a dissident has, after a thorough investigation, turned out to be at the instigation of an enemy power. Gasp! This is but the latest in a string of incidents designed to destabilize the Albion Confederation. The results of the investigation have leaked to the public, and massive crowds have gathered in the streets of Berlin and are now calling for total war. Dismantle the Scandinavian Republic. Oh, I could use slapping the Scandinavians. That would be fun. Wow, or lose a bunch of prestige. Yeah, sure, I can I can slap them. I need to slap the uh, the the United Republic as well, but well, well, they, they don't have a navy. I can just blockade them. How long does this CB last? 1926. I have a year to prepare for this. Still building some more units. We have an extra, extra large unit here in Africa. This is very good. I'm gonna move over here. The Scandinavians don't have much left in Africa.
Ah, oh, man, that's right. The Burgundians own the own the uh, the the Suez Canal as well. Ah, should have gotten that during the Great War. Oh well. There's still eleven years left. There's time for another big war, if the opportunity arises. Right. In the meanwhile, oh nice. Oh, Danago, that's too bad. 